So you might be wondering, what is a flashback? Well, let me do a 10 second scene and show you what a flashback could look like. All right, so do you sort of see what, what went on there? I was eating the hot peppers, that's the reason why my mouth was hot. Well, they're not too hot, but you know what I mean. Now, basically, a flashback, uh, we're looking into the past to see what caused the present situation. If you want a more uh, specific definition of a flashback, let's take a look at an article that I found on Studio Binder, and I'll link that article in the description below. Now, a flashback is simply a writing device that is used to interrupt the present storyline for a brief return to past events. Now, most of the time, flashbacks are not literal. The characters are not actually traveling back in the past. Instead, they're recalling a certain experience visualized by the writer with the intent of contextualizing or giving backstory to a character, an event, or a relationship. So you might be asking yourself, why would I want to add a flashback? Now there's three good reasons why you should be adding a flashback. The first one is to establish a narrative through line. The second one is to juxtaposition aspects of character or actions. And the third one is to recontextualize the present story in a new way. Now, if you need some film examples of that, um, one of the good, there's two good ones I can think of off the top of my head. The first one is Memento, and the other one is Clue. Now, Memento was written by Christopher Nolan and his brother Jonathan Nolan. It's about a man with a short term memory loss who's trying to track down his wife's killer. Um, in Memento, the flashbacks are used strategically throughout the story. Now, Clue, on the other hand, is a mystery comedy based around the Parker Brothers uh, board game. The flashbacks tend to be to happen at the end of the movie to sort of reveal the crimes as they go along. Now, I'll leave some links uh, so you can see some examples on YouTube of sim scenes with uh, flashbacks. And then I'll also uh, post some Amazon links, some affiliate links. So if you want to purchase the movies, uh, you can do that as well, too. So let's talk about how you would format a flashback into your own script. And I'm going to give you some examples that come from David Trotter's uh, Screenwriter's Bible, the seventh edition. Now, if you don't have this book yet, I would highly recommend to get it on Kindle or as a physical book. It's really good. He does a great job of talking through all the different formatting things. So if you want to know how to uh, write in your script, how to record a conversation between two people on the phone, two people on text messages, stuff like that, he's got everything that you need in order to format correctly. And so this is where I'm taking all the information from. So let's take a look at some uh, ways that we can do flashbacks. And David Trotter writes this, since the flashback is often abused by developing writers, make sure that your use of it pays off dramatically. Now, in terms of formatting, there are numerous correct methods. The overriding principle is simply to be clear. So let's take a look at our first example here. In our scene heading, we have, simply have flashback train accident, and then we have the scene listed below. Another example for a flashback is simply, again, in the scene heading, we have flashback, and then we have a, a scene location. As, as of night, we have the scene. And then once we are going back, if we're saying we're going back to the office, here are two ways to represent going back to the present timeline. You have interior office day, back to present day, or you can flip it sort of the other way around, back to present day, interior office day. So that is a way to take one type of scene and turn it into a flashback. Now, in a lot of films, people want to go and do more than just one flashback at a time. And so if you have a sequence of flashback, this is probably the preferred method in order to uh, showcase all these different scenes or sequences together. So again, you just write in the, in the scene heading, begin flashback sequence, and then you'd write out each of the different scenes. Um, as, and you just write them off as normal scenes. You wouldn't have to put in flashback here, flashback there. With that bracket, you're, you're allowing the reader to understand that you are creating a flashback sequence. And you simply write end flashback sequence, and then you start uh, with your next scene. You don't have to go back to present day because since you write end the flashback sequence, that'll take care of all the nomenclature that you need. After today's lesson, how will you add a flashback to your script? Well, hi, my name is Paul from Screen Eye Mentor. If this is the first time we're meeting, are you looking for a software program to help create your next blockbuster? Take a look at this next video that I have that I'll show you some good ones to try out. And believe it or not, there are some that are even free on there. Well, until the next video, write well and live well.